Japan has just revealed the first clear look at damage inflicted by its prototype electromagnetic railgun during a series of at-sea tests earlier this year, and the results show how rapidly the country is advancing toward a real operational railgun capability. The tests were carried out by Japan's Acquisition Technology and Logistics Agency, known as ATLA, and the new details highlight how seriously Japan is pursuing a weapon that many other nations, including the United States, have paused or abandoned. During the summer trials, ATLA mounted the railgun on the rear flight deck of the JS Asuka, a unique 6,200-ton testbed warship used by the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force. Images of the weapon first appeared months ago, but now Japan has revealed exactly what happened when the railgun was fired against a moving target ship at sea. The prototype weapon is an evolution of a design Japan has worked on since the mid-2010s, and it has already undergone multiple land-based firings and at least one earlier maritime test. But this time, it fired live projectiles directly at a ship. The railgun uses electromagnetic force instead of gunpowder to launch projectiles at extremely high velocity. For these tests, Japan used dart-shaped rounds with four fins at the rear. Each projectile sat inside a sabo that separated after leaving the barrel, while a metal armature behind it helped push the round down the barrel before falling away. A tug-like ship acted as the target, moving under tow while the Osuka's railgun fired multiple shots. The clean, cross-shaped holes on the target's hull show that the fin-stabilized projectiles flew with precision and stability. Japan also fired rounds at a 45-degree angle to collect data on ballistic performance at higher elevation. The entire system was operated remotely using a camera mounted under the barrel. A second high-speed camera, a small radar, and other sensors on the Asuka gathered additional data while a drone recorded the test from above. Atlas says the test helped engineers understand not only how the weapon behaves when fired at sea, but also how it interacts with a real naval platform. The current setup is temporary and involves four large shipping containers full of supporting equipment, including power and cooling systems. A future operational version will need to be fully integrated inside a warship, which will require significant space and design modifications. Japan's biggest breakthroughs so far include achieving a barrel life of more than 200 rounds at speeds of around 2300 meters per second. Barrel erosion has always been a major challenge for railguns worldwide, and surpassing the 200-round mark is a major milestone. Power and cooling remain difficult issues, and ATLA openly acknowledges that several technical hurdles still need to be overcome. But authorities also say that the program is clearly progressing, and Japan remains committed to pushing forward. The potential benefits of a working electromagnetic railgun are huge. A naval railgun could offer rapid-fire defense against air threats, long-range precision strikes against ships and land targets, and a massive magazine depth at a fraction of the cost of traditional missiles. Because the projectiles are small and do not require explosive warheads, a single ship could carry far more ammunition for far less money. This is especially important for naval forces operating far from home, where resupplying missiles is extremely difficult. Japan is exploring both naval and ground-based railgun applications. A roadmap displayed during the recent presentation includes a truck-mounted version as well as a fully integrated naval system. Other countries such as China, France, Germany, and Turkey have shown interest in railguns, but Japan now appears to be one of the few nations actively pushing the technology toward real deployment. Despite the challenges, the latest tests show that Japan is moving steadily toward a future where electromagnetic railguns could become a critical part of its defensive and offensive capabilities. With the ability to fire ultra-fast, low-cost projectiles that can engage a wide range of targets, Japan sees this technology as an important tool for dealing with the increasingly complex threats of the modern battlefield, including hypersonic weapons. Japan's latest demonstration makes one thing clear. While other nations have slowed down or halted their railgun programs, Japan is accelerating and the world is watching.